Hello and welcome to the Spar of One exclusive. Once upon a time, Digvijay Singh was a chief minister and a well-regarded chief minister, someone who was known for his administrative skills and his progressive views. Today, he's considered as somewhat of an X factor, someone whose statements, increasingly provocative, are seen by even his admirers as adding fuel to a UPA that is already on fire. Thanks very much indeed, Mr. Singh, for joining us. And we will come to each of those statements of yours uh, as we go along. But let's start with the most recent, where you said that Rahul Gandhi should be Prime Minister. Well, did, you actually, did you actually believe that well, and mean it? Again, first of all, uh, I say something and the media reports quite differently. Okay. Can, I, can I quote to you exactly yes. what you told PTI? Yes. You said, I think it is time that Rahul becomes the Prime Minister. He is now 41 and he has been working for the party for the last seven to eight years. That see, seems where, fairly where, straightforward. Yes. You see, the point is, Sir Raj, Rahul Gandhi has, was elected as a member of parliament in 2004. Yes. And he's been working in the organization since last four years. Yes. And he has given a direction to the Youth Congress and NSVI. So when you ask uh, me a question that... Should he be Prime should, Minister? Yes, obviously, I will say, of course, he has the ability and the capacity and the political instinct to become a good Prime Minister. No, it seems that what you said is, I think it is time that Rahul becomes the Prime Minister. I am just quoting a verbatim from the PTI no, interview. No, please, for God's sake, quote me from exact the the te television interview that I have given. Okay. See the bites. Don't see the statements. So you said that he I has the competence to be the prime he minister. He has the competence, the ability, and has got the political instinct to make a good prime minister. But you're not and, saying. And and I said yes. I'll be very happy to see him as a prime minister in my lifetime. But you're not saying that it is time that no, he becomes no. Prime Minister, I, I, meaning he should I, be no, become no, Prime Minister no, right no, now. No, That's I, not what you meant. I, I have never said that. I've, because there is no vacancy. And Dr. Manmohan Singh is doing a fairly good job. I should be replacing. But Mr. Singh, you at least concede that your comments could have been taken amiss by the Prime Minister. Well, you must understand, I have never said anything which is not based on facts and out of uh, which I have said without being convinced myself. And you're convinced that Rahul would make a good Prime Minister? Absolutely. I so stand if, by he, that. if there was a vacancy today and he were to become a Prime Minister today, he would still be uh, qualified and competent? Well, this is what the party has to decide, the Congress president has to decide, yes. parliamentary parties to decide. But then, as a person, what, of what little I've seen of him, he has the competence to make a good Prime Minister. Someone, uh, Mr. Singh, who's only been in the party for, uh, who's worked for the party for seven years, makes him uh, competent to be a Prime Minister? That seems an extraordinary claim. I mean, there are people who well, worked well, for years, including well, yourself and so well, many others. Well, why do you forget Mr. Rajiv Gandhi was propelled into, uh, uh, into holding a, becoming a Prime Minister because of the unfortunate uh, assassination of Mrs. Indira Gandhi. But many, but believe, he, but, many, but many, he, believe, many believe that many of the reasons why he, he perhaps couldn't fully succeed was because of the fact uh, that he was a novice to politics. No. And many believe that the lack of experience actually no, led him I, down. I, I don't think so. He's, he proved to be a very fine Prime Minister. And of course, uh, the, the steps that he took were far-reaching. And I think he would have done much better in his second term. So you think that Rahul, with just seven years under his belt, as an MP, as someone who's worked for the party, is ready to be Prime Minister? Well, Mr. Uh, Barack Obama, with one term as senator, became the president of USA. Mr. Singh, there's a more charitable view about your candor, which is that you're a truth teller. You don't mind saying things which other people may hold back from. And when you said that, many believed it was an indiscriminate you know, in, in indirect criticism of this government and the manner in which it's been running. Uh, you've been very vocal about it on other issues, on issues of the handling of corruption and so on. But on this issue, it seemed that you were saying that, look, perhaps it's time for a younger and newer leadership. Is that what you were well, implying? Well, the Congress party has always encouraged young leadership. In fact, I was appointed as a Pradesh Congress president in Madhya Pradesh at the age of 38. And if you see even the 1952, the first Lok Sabha elected, had the lowest average age of members of parliament. So it's nothing new for the Congress party, from Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to Mr. Sonia Gandhi. So we should we have, have a younger prime minister. We have encouraged young people to come up. And so we should have a younger prime minister? Well, we all look forward to it. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free.
ndtv.com slash apps.